Another generation deal Cross the gun review Woo! Welcome back to another Plasticon review. Today we're going to cover some more Generation 2 awesomeness. I'm talking Euro Transformers. Ones that we didn't get in the United States. We're going to start this entire thing off with an Autobot. And who I'm talking about? That is Mean Streak. Here is Mean Streak. He is a funny car. Or a dragster as if some people want to call him. This is something that's extremely rare in the Transformer universe, is having a dragster. There really isn't very many toys that have ever come out that were dragsters that turned into robots, and this happens to be one of them. Happens to be one of the rarest of them as well, because these lines did not make it to the States. They were primarily only in the UK, and they're really, really cool. Taking a closer look at his entire deco though, he really does have a lot going on. He's got a nice fade going on here with the front end, with this entire white just kind of fading directly in. It would have been cool if they would have carried the paint a little more further, but they didn't. They tried to kind of fade it before it hit this blue here for the other plastic sections, but they did the best they could. This blue though is a very, very vibrant blue extremely 90s this is about as 90s as color palettes can get especially with this really really not even a real it's it is a neon pink but it's not like that whole Barbie pink it's a very very pink color not to mention the uh, sticker detail here really kind of shows a little bit of the same fade they got the blue going into white here with the checkered flag and it says PM3 along with you know transformers robots in disguise right here on the side in his name right there it's really really cool especially to have one with the stickers intact it's very hard to find them with those it does say Autobot on the hood or the entire front window right here for me but it's pretty it's pretty knackered you can actually see where it's kind of rubbing off a little bit it's extremely difficult to find those actually with that whole Autobot Tampo still there. I do like this guy a whole lot though. He is very, very cool. And you probably want to know what the PM3 is. What this That means he's the third powered master. Not power masters, but powered masters. Which can get really, really confusing when you start talking about Dialus and all those. But he is actually really cool. Another gimmick he happens to have is a pullback function that does a very good job, but he also has another thing done with this pullback function. Unfortunately, I don't have his proper guns. I do happen to have guns that go to a couple other ones. But, he's supposed to be able to push the gun into the back, and it's supposed to lock it and keep it from actually going forward until you actually press the guns down. On this one here, it doesn't work as well, but it's probably because of its age. It's something that I really do like about these toys is the fact that they actually had a gimmick. You know, see how he's going a little slower. It shouldn't actually move at all unless you push the gun down all the way, but it's still trying to move forward. And you can see, it is a pullback function toy, which is really, really cool. I do like pullback functions. This is a great little gimmick, and a lot of people out there tend to complain about And I'm not one of those that complain about gimmicks. I like gimmicks and toys, because to me, a toy should actually have some kind of cool gimmick that is a sell point, and it shouldn't really hamper the toy. Now, when you guys get to see the robot mode of this guy, you're probably going to giggle. But let's go ahead and do that kind of thing, shall we? Here is Mean Streak in his robot mode, and he just looks hilarious. I love how this robot looks. He's got a really, really crazy character about him, and it's something I just like about this particular toy. 
Although it kind of almost feels like an oversized McDonald's toy, I do like it. I love the idea that he has got these crazy wheels that are on his head. Because these are the front wheels to the car, considering the actual real front wheels are just a molded piece of plastic, which I find that quite humorous as well. But it makes him look like he has gigantic dumbbell ears. Or dumbo ears? I don't know. It's just hilarious. I do like his head sculpt. He's got a very interesting looking little head sculpt. Although there's not a whole lot of detail there, but that's the whole point. I mean, these guys were made to be the cheaper price point back then. And the pullback function this guy has is great. I think it's one of the coolest pullback functions in any toy, considering he just goes in a circle. I, I love this. This just makes me laugh. Because... It really reminds me of those old toys you used to get, like the uh, the Magic mic that you'd put the oil in, he'd smoke, and then he'd just drive around in circles and then bump into stuff. And it just, it, I, I love that because this just kind of gives like a little pullback function toy that is small as you can put it in the palm of your hand that you can play with that does the same thing. I just love it, and I think it's also funny because it looks like he's kind of almost reclining in a chair or something. Although these here are supposed to be his feet. But, you know, hey, it's a robot, and it's funny. I do like the fact that you can, if you really want to, you can position his arms way down if you really want to make him look kind of crazy. And there's just different ways you can actually do this. You can put his arms out further if you flip up the back and do this. So you do have some ways to really express him. He doesn't have to be a stagnant toy, and that's something I do like about him. He does have crazy little functionality that is cool. If you do happen to have the gun, the gun will fit in his hand just fine, just like that. I, like I said, I don't happen to have his proper gun, because I think his proper gun actually has a peg where you just do it here so he faces forward. But you can also peg these here on the top as well which is kind of nice and I just I like the idea this thing's got functionality it's not just a stagnant thing that you can just put them anywhere and you can actually put the guns back here in the very back if you wanted to push down all the way and he can actually have hip guns which is kind of neat you can and if you have a whole bunch of the guns to all of them you can really just deck him out and just guns all over the place it's really cool I do like that about him but anyhow this has been Plasticon this has been yet another Generation 2 review, and I'll see you guys around because I have plenty more coming to your guys' way. That's it for now. Bye!